John Carmack from id Software. And John today, welcome John. Thank you. John is going to give us worldwide first peek at something he's working on, running on Mac OS X and the GeForce 3. All right, what I've got here is a demonstration of our new in-development gaming engine. And this shows off some of the things that we can do with the power of the GeForce 3 in here. And all of this is actual real game code. There's no real special tricks going on here. Everything is being done real time. So the big trick that we're getting now is the final unification of lighting and shadowing across all surfaces in a game. Because games have had to do these hacks and tricks for years now where we do different things for characters and different things for environments and different things for lights that move versus lights that are static. And now we're able to do all of that the same way for everything. We're able to go ahead and apply all of these on every single pixel rather than every vertex or even every object like we used to do. I mean, things that we always wanted to see, like, you know, every Every light casts its own highlight, every surface casts its shadow, just the way you would expect things to behave in the real world on there. We're able to do all of these really dramatic things with you know, bringing out so much detail, projecting lights onto things, uh, you know, specular highlights on a per pixel basis, just wonderful things for games, where instead of having everything where this, this clear distinction between things that you interact with and things that, uh, that are static in the world, everything behaves the same now. And look at the detail that we're able to get. These are our game characters. These aren't special high resolution models that we're using for something. You know, it wasn't too many years ago when we were lucky to have three triangles for a nose on our character. And now we've got like pores and bowls and uh, oh, incidentally we do do all of our animation with Maya also. So these animation loops that we've done here were, uh, were created in Maya. So we're very excited about the quality that we get here. I mean, this is like, these are the characters for our next game, some of them. And just the detail that you can see in there, we're extremely excited here. And the large scale dynamic things, like we can move lights all over the place. We can have highlights change on everything, shadows moving every which way. And we can bring cinematic drama to a lot of the things in the game now. We can do these extremely moody, intense, and scary things. And we're not just limited to moving a couple things around inside uh, you know, a static little game world. I, I mean, every, every time I look at what our artists can do with this new stuff, I'm just extremely pleased with like, what our next project's gonna look like. I, it's a wonderful time to be in graphics. And GeForce 3 is just uh, the most exciting thing in years that we've had to work with. We're able to do just fabulous stuff with it. Mm. It's great. Mm. Mm. Thank you, John. Awesome.